This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Forex Report. Good afternoon, traders. I'm Scott Norris here with your Forex Report. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2009. Well, the U.S. dollar went on a nice little run today after getting off to a tough start this week. A $3 a barrel decline in the price of oil followed the dollar's surge as the inverse relationship holds strong. Stocks were also in negative territory for the entire session, which ironically is still helpful to the greenback. ADP gave us a glimpse of what to expect from the upcoming jobs report on Friday, saying the economy shed just over 500,000 jobs last month. This matched expectations and failed to move the markets. Ben Bernanke testified at 10 a.m. and sounded relatively optimistic. He said the Fed is still more concerned about the possibility of deflation, not inflation, at this time. This means monetary policy will remain loose for some time as we await further signs of a sustainable recovery. This could not boost stocks, however, which were in need of a breather after months of big gains. The technical picture in Forex suggests the dollar may not be done running. Some intraday charts are already forming higher highs and lows for the currency against most of its counterparts. In the bigger picture, the daily charts still favor the other side of the trade. Therefore, short-term traders may look to capitalize on long dollar positions, preferably after we see a little consolidation and or retracement tonight. Looking back at longer term charts, we are still a ways off of big trend lines that would promote further dollar selling. Intermediate and long term traders may be eyeing these levels to be reached tomorrow or Friday where new sh short dollar trades can be taken. The idea in both scenarios is using the retracements to our advantage, getting in at more favorable prices. By doing so, we can use smaller stops, increase our upside potential, thus employing sound money management. Till tomorrow, have a great night trading. Take care.